Hello my friends, welcome back to Keto and the Chaos. My name is Tammy and on this channel I like to share all my tips and tricks on how I lost 200 pounds without bariatric surgery and how you could be successful on your own weight loss journey. So if that's what you're looking for, don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring the bell for more videos like this one to inspire you to get started. My top three tips. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I am so excited that you stopped to check in on me on my week three of my 2023 weight loss cut. So the reason that I do these short mini cuts is because it's the easiest way for me to maintain my weight loss over time. Um, I'm really busy during the spring and I'm really busy during the fall and so dur during those times I don't really want to have to think about my food too much and so I just kind of eat what I feel intuitively that I want to eat and then when I start to feel a little uncomfortable, um, my, my clothes don't fit so well, I decide to take a short cut and so far that has seemed to fall into a pattern of cutting for a few weeks right after the holidays and then the entirety of this summer and that's just kind of how I have been making progress over the last few years. My original weight loss started January 1st 2017. I lost 100 pounds in eight months doing this exact thing. Lost 138 pounds the first year and then ended up hitting Wonderland six months later. Ever since I hit Wonderland in summer of 2018, I've just kind of bounced in and out of this area of my weight. I did eventually get down to 167 pounds, but it just wasn't where my body wanted to be. Um, I'm most comfortable in the mid to high 170s, but when I had my skin removal surgery, I ended up with lymphedema that has added a whole bunch of water weight to my body that just doesn't go away. Um, when I'm on a ketogenic, cut it seems to be the most efficient to getting that water off of me and so I can lean out pretty quickly so some of this weight loss that you might see me having is of that lymphatic fluid and may not be indicative of what you might experience going on a similar cut so I don't want you to be disappointed if you try and do this quick cut and you don't see the same kind of results you're probably not going to lose more than one to two pounds of body fat even on this steep of calorie deficit and that's just the normal way to lose weight and the healthy way to lose weight. So even though it looks more dramatic in the last couple of weeks that I've lost so much weight every week, it's really not as much body fat as it is lymphatic fluid. So I just wanted to put that out there in case you're new because a lot of people are coming to my channel who haven't been here before and just wanted to kind of give you the lowdown. So I started out at 374 pounds. My lowest weight was 167, but for most of the last four and a half years, I've been in the 190s and and that's basically where I'm kind of seeming to maintain my weight, at least at this point. So yeah, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you everything that I ate this week to lose weight. Um, I do show everything in these cut videos because I don't eat very much. I'm only eating twice a day, often late in the afternoon and late at night, and that is due to my schedule. I am a mom of nine kids. I am currently homeschooling the youngest three, and we do homeschooling in the mornings, and then we um, go, to dance, go to the dance studio. So I generally eat after the homeschooling is finished, and then I wait until we get home from the dance studio to have my dinner, which is why I eat so late. It is not the optimal for circadian rhythm or any of that stuff that um, people talk about, but it works for me. It's what I've always done and you know, I haven't had any problems with it. I don't have any indigestion or anything from eating so late. It just seems to be fine. So if you wanna try it, you don't have to do it exactly the same way I do it. Um, sometimes people ask me how I make it so long. Um, often I used to drink caffeine in the mornings. I used to drink like a bang soda and some Coke, uh, Coke Zero throughout the day in order to keep myself from being too hungry. Of course my electrolytes um, is the best way to keep yourself from being hungry and that first two weeks is killer even on keto you're gonna be hungry it's just a bear once you get past the first two weeks it gets it calms down a bit and the hunger feelings don't um, come back as viciously as they did in the first two weeks of the diet which makes the next few weeks a little bit easier to do um, and I, I will probably get to the point where mentally I just can't do it anymore we will see um, but my plan is to stick it out until February 24th we will see if I make it as far as now I'm feeling very positive about uh, my attitude about it and about how things are going so 
that's kind of um, that situation. Of course, if you want to lose weight a little more slowly, you do not have to have as steep of a calorie deficit. You can definitely figure out a higher level of calories that make it easier for you to keep going. But for me, just getting in, getting it done and getting out has just become my favorite thing to do. When I'm in it to win it, I'm hyper-focused on it and I am in the zone, right? In the weight loss zone. And I want to do, get, do as much, undo as much damage as possible before I just can't deal with it anymore. And that's just kind of how my brain works. Um, I, I discovered on in October that I have ADHD. I guess I've kind of known it my whole life, but been in denial. Um, I'm still kind of in the denial anger phase of accepting my ADHD diagnosis. Um, I am medicated and the medication has not seemed to help me with my appetite suppressants or my overeating. So there's that. That's kind of disappointing. I know a lot of people go on ADHD medications for weight loss, but for me, that has not been the case has not been the helpful thing. So back to what you're gonna see in the video. I'm gonna see everything that I ate. Super easy to see. Oh my gosh. Sidetracked. See, there's proof of my ADHD. I just finally came back around to remember what I was talking about before because I couldn't remember. I was talking about what you're gonna see in the video, but I totally forgot I said that. Yeah. So anyway, in this video, you're gonna see everything I ate. Also, all of my weight weigh-ins for the week. I weigh in every single day and I take the average weight for the week and determine over time whether or not the diet is working. And I don't do the every single day, you know, look at the scale and pray kind of thing. Um, I just write it down and move on, write it down and move on. If it goes up randomly, oh well. If it goes down, woo. But I just write it down and move on and then I add it all up at the end of the week and find the average and that's what I go by. Um, I also take my measurements and I'll be talking to you about my measurements at the end as well as all the data from um, my calories and everything and how it went. You're also gonna see my body before and after. Last time I did this cut, people were annoyed that I did the before and after 360s just one week at a time. So I decided with this cut that I'm gonna show you day one and day whatever it is so that you can see the comparison. So the one you're gonna see at the beginning of the video is the one from the beginning of this week. And then at the end of the video, you're gonna see the one from the day one and the end of the week, if that makes sense. And so yeah, that's everything, I guess. That's all the housekeeping before I show you all my footage. Um, enjoy, I hope you enjoy some of my dance classes too, because I'm gonna put those in here and anything else I find interesting that happens to me during my week. So I will come back and check in with you at the end of the clips. Welcome back to another video. This is the beginning of week three of my 2023 cut and it is four o'clock on Monday and I have not yet eaten anything. That wasn't my intention. We have the day off from school and from like I even took the day off home school because my daughter had a practice with her team. So we didn't have any school today and no dance classes other than taking my daughter over to her team practice which was really close. And so I got involved in recording videos. I recorded a couple of videos and I also edited one. Go me. <laughs> but now it is four o'clock in the afternoon. That's how long it took me to do all of that. And I haven't eaten anything. So I went downstairs to make some food and I have two eggs left all only. Some cheese. Lots of cheese. Um, very few fresh veggies. I think I'm down to squash and cauliflower. Um, yeah. Let's just say it was slim pickings down there. And so I was like, well, I'm gonna make me one of those keto custards because I got some premier protein shakes and some egg. Well, it's been a while since I've made those. I have a new microwave that does not cook that very well for some reason. And I decided to make it with one egg because we had two eggs and I don't think that's how it's made. So I mixed together an egg, a protein shake, and put in 12 grams of Lily butterscotch baking chips and it popped it in the microwave. Next thing I know, it was over boiling, so now I'm, I lost some of my protein and it's still liquid. So I'm eating hot Primo protein soup. I don't think it's gonna taste that bad, but I literally, we don't get paid until Friday. I have no food in the house, obviously, and I got to eat it. Can't let it go to waste. So here it is. 
Yep, now it has a skin on it. I just, yeah, this, it, trust me, it's going to taste good, guys. Then I came up with this brilliant plan to make these, like, turkey roll-ups. I cooked the turkey pieces in the in a, in a pan. I think this is the Applegate Farm Naturals. Cooked them in the in the pan. Put a little cream cheese on each one and a little sugar-free Smucker's raspberry jelly. Those turned out okay, I think, but I probably should have made like double that. And then I put a built puff on there because I just got a brand new box today because I was able to buy it with my points from you guys buying bars. So those were free. Yeah, sad and sorry. First meal of the day. It doesn't even meet my macros for what I usually eat for the first meal of the day. Luckily, it's 4 o'clock, so I'll be eating dinner relatively soon. But who the heck knows what we are eating for dinner? Because I sure don't. Wish me luck this week, guys. It's going to be hard. All right, guys. It is 8 o'clock. Um, I'm about to have my last meal of the day. And like I mentioned earlier, we're kind of low on groceries at the moment. We have quite a bit of cheese. And I couldn't think of anything to have for dinner tonight because we have like no vegetables. And so I decided to go ahead and have a skillet pizza. So this is just basically mozzarella cheese cooked in a nonstick pan on top. It's I think it's 100 grams of mozzarella cheese. On top I have 40 grams of pepperonis and 50 grams of Lucini marinara. And then I'm also going to have a Quest peanut butter cup because my last one and my macros were kind of low on the calories department. So yep, this is going to be my final meal of the day. Alrighty, everyone, it is two o'clock on Tuesday and I'm about to have my first meal of the day. Today I am having yogurt sludge. So today I have 227 grams of 0% fat Greek yogurt mixed with um, 31 grams of keto chow chocolate, one squirt of stevia, and 30 grams of coconut milk to thin it out. On top I have 12 grams of perfect keto chocolate collagen cereal to give it a little bit of crunch. Then I am having a real good food pork enchiladas uh, with four, 20 grams of mozzarella cheese on top and 20 grams of sour cream. I am also having a built puff and some sugar-free jello. This is Winky brand sugar-free jello and that is going to be my first meal of the day. All right, it is nine o'clock and I just got home from the dance studio and about to have my final meal of the day. Today I am having real good foods, General Tso's chicken. This is 250 grams of the General Tso's chicken topped by 40 grams of mozzarella cheese and 30 grams of sour cream. I am also having some roasted cauliflower. This is 155 grams of cauliflower with 40 grams of cheddar cheese on top. And that is gonna be my last meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it's been a busy Wednesday and I'm home just for a few minutes. It's almost three o'clock and I'm finally eating my first meal. I had a little Creo brew earlier with 40 grams of Premier Protein Shake in it. And now I am having some of those protein waffles I like to make with one egg and 31 grams of Snickerdoodle Keto Chow. I've also got 20 grams of blueberries cooked in this. And then on top, I've got eight grams of butter and some powdered swerve. This is two of the Sargento Cheddar uh, Mozzarella Sticks. And I am having 227 grams of Greek yogurt mixed with lemonade mio and 20 more grams of blueberries. That's going to be my first meal of the day. All right, guys, I am heading down to the dance studio. I'm going to be there till 9 o'clock tonight. I don't know when I'm going to eat this, but I'm filming it now so I can just eat it whenever. I am having two of more Sargento cheese snacks and a Bilt Bar. That's going to be my second meal of the day.
Alrighty, everyone. It is 941. Um, I am still red from clogging tonight. Man, she kicked our trash tonight. Woo! A full hour of cardio. I was heated, <laughs> needless to say. Um, I just got home and I am having my final meal of the day. Spaghetti squash spaghetti. So I've got 155 grams of spaghetti squash, 175 grams of Lucini marinara, um, 8 ounces of 93.7 ground beef, and 30 grams of mozzarella cheese. That is going to be my last meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it is Thursday. It is 12.30. Um, I usually eat a little earlier on Thursdays because I like to take a bath. That's part of my take care of me time. Um, do I do stuff with the kids and then I take a bath for a few hours in the afternoon so that I can like, you know, sorry about the lights. What are they doing? They're doing weird things. Anyway, I'm in my pajamas still at 12.30. That is how this day is going and this is what I'm having for my first meal of the day. Today I am having chocolate protein powder waffles. It's one egg and a scoop of keto chow chocolate with a squirt of stevia and 12 grams of chocolate chips and 50 grams of almond milk. Then I cooked it in the waffle maker and put on top eight grams of butter and some swerve. Then I've got 30 grams of bacon, two slices of baby Swiss cheese, and a built puff. And that is going to be my first meal of the day. Alrighty, guys, it's 7.30 on Thursday, and I'm about to have my final meal of the day. Dave offered to go buy me wings tonight, so I am having seven chicken wings, plain with hot sauce on the side and no ranch and i'm just going to eat the veg that is here and that's going to be my final meal of the day Alrighty, guys it is 3 15 on friday i've just had a really busy day today and yeah so i've not eaten <laughs> and i'm to that point where i just don't eat if um I just don't want to eat because I'm not hungry anymore. I guess that I must be well into ketosis at this point, three and a, two and a half weeks in. And here is my first meal of the day. I made orange creamsicle protein ice cream in the creamy. I put the recipe on YouTube shorts, but it is basically a one protein shake, a tablespoon of cream cheese that I melted and mixed into the protein shake, a couple of squirts of orange vanilla mio and a capful of lemon juice on top i've got 12 grams of lily's chocolate chips i am also having 40 grams of fried mozzarella cheese 42 grams of oscar meyer center cut bacon and a built puff bar and that is going to be my first meal of the day Alrighty, everyone it is almost eight o'clock at night on friday and i am about to have my final meal of the day Today I am having Quest Chip Nachos, so this is a package of taco seasoning, I think it's loaded taco Quest Chips topped with um, a cup of lettuce, 40 grams, no, 30 grams of, of cheddar cheese, 6 ounces of chicken breast, 60 grams of salsa, and I also have bell peppers in here, 100 grams and 30 grams of onion, and that is going to be my last meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it is 3 o'clock on Saturday. I am having a fairly bad ADHD day today. Kind of started last night, morphed into me basically still being in bed at 3 o'clock, being paralyzed, not being able to decide what to eat. So I finally just went downstairs and started doing my routine, fed the chickens like I always do, and then I just came into the kitchen, just started making things, and this is what I ended up with. So I made three protein waffles, so I used two eggs and... um. 60 grams of keto chow, chocolate keto chow, and 60 grams of coconut milk. And then on top is a sorry state. I m tried making homemade sugar-free whipped cream in my little whipped cream maker that my kid gave me for my birthday in November. He's made it for me before and it worked really great. And when I sprayed it out, it just splatted everywhere and it's just like cream with sugar in it. I mean with a uh, sweetener in it. So that's what I'm having. 25 grams of heavy cream just dumped on top of my waffles and I'm not going to waste food so that's how I'm going to eat it. Um, then I'm having 22 grams of bacon. I would have had almost 30 grams except for one sorry piece of bacon fell on the floor. Rude. And I'm having a piece of baby Swiss and a built bar. That is going to be my first meal of the day. Alrighty guys, like I said earlier, I'm having a rough ADHD day today. I sat down to work on a video and literally stared at the screen for an hour and did nothing. Finally I got something going and then Dave made me dinner and brought it up. So... Now I don't know if I'll go back to it or not. I so um, just yeah. Anyway, 
Um, he was nice to indulge me in this like thing I made up in my head of what I wanted to eat. And I don't even know if it's going to taste good. So I have to eat it even if it doesn't. He says it kind of have Thai vibes um, because I had to use coconut milk for it. But I'm going to show you what it looks like. So it is eight ounces of Genio turkey breast loin um, cooked in like bouillon powder and seasonings. And then he did roasted veggies. I've got 100 grams of yellow squash, 100 grams of zucchini, 100 grams of bell pepper, um, 100 grams of mushroom, and 30 grams of onion. That's where all my carbs came from. And then the sauce is made out of the drippings from the pan and um, coconut milk. I did eight ounces of the coconut almond Califia Farms milk. And then um, on top, I've got 60 grams of tomato and three pieces of um, that yummy baby Swiss cheese that I've been into lately. So it looks delicious. It's kind of like a soup, but I kind of hoped he would put it in a bowl instead of this like deep plate, but it is what it is. And that is going to be my last meal of the day. Alrighty, everyone. It's 3.30 on Sunday and I'm about to have my first meal of the day. Today I made a keto custard. This one is a lot better than the last one I made, which I only used one egg and that was terrible. Uh, I think it's better with three eggs, but I kind of did want it a little soupy. So I did two eggs, one premier protein shake, and 12 grams of butterscotch, lily butterscotch chips, which obviously have melted in there and made it look yummy and sweet. And then I am having 30 grams of center cut bacon, 40 grams of fried mozzarella cheese, and a built puff bar. That is going to be my first meal of the day. Alrighty guys, it is 8.45 on Sunday night and I'm about to have my final meal of the day. I am having 235 grams of real good foods, General So's chicken, topped with 30 grams of mozzarella cheese and 20 grams of sour cream. I'm also having 155 grams of zucchini with 5 grams of butter and a package of Quest chips. That's going to be my last meal of the day. <music> So there you go. It was a pretty basic week for me. We had my clogging class and my daughter tried to kill me. I was dying after that class. My, my actually, my nose was red for so many days after it. People kept asking me if I'd let, you know, was tan or as like got a sunburn. <laughs> Woo! A lot of cardio that day. A lot of cardio. I wonder how many calories I burned. Well, I can't actually tell you what Fitbit will tell you, what Fitbit tells me I burned at the end of this, hopefully if I remember to do so. But let's go over the weigh-ins first. So, if you guys remember at the end of last week, I was at 195.4 pretty much solidly the entire week. And very first day of this week, I went, I had a drop. So we hit 192.6, then 191.6, 191.6, 191, 191.2, 190.4, 190.4. And just for funsies, I threw in today's weight because it was 189.8. I saw the 180s again, which I have not seen since the summer. Um, my average weight for the week was 191.2, which was down 4.2 pounds for the week. Now, this is one of my non-hormonal weeks. I am not ovulating nor leading up to my cycle. Next week, I'll be leading up to my cycle. When I have those two things happen, I often retain water without the lymphedema regardless of keto and it's been my story since the day one <laughs> so often i would be like i'd have a dramatic weight loss and then i'd hold for two weeks had a dramatic weight loss hold for two weeks and that was like my pattern when i was obese and losing the weight now i just kind of like will sometimes go up and then down and a little bit more and up and then down a little bit more and it just kind of goes back and forth so i don't know what to expect for this following week i kind of knew this week was going to be good based on past experience and it, it didn't disappoint i have to say that this morning seeing the 189 even though it was barely eked out i was thrilled because that means it really only took me three weeks to get back to where i was pretty much at the end of the summer after my full 12 week cut 
which is freaking awesome. Can I just say that just me that just goes to show it goes to prove that over the holidays, I didn't put on as much body fat as maybe I thought I did. So I think I was up like 16 pounds over the holidays, but I've taken off almost all of that in three weeks, which means there's no way very much of it was body fat because I couldn't have done that. That's not how weight loss works. Um, so my calories for the week were 1309, 1299, 1303, 1372, 1313, 1316, and 1301 for an average of 1316, which was only up six calories from last week, and that was really, really good. I did a good job, I'm proud of myself. Um, my protein average for the week was 141, it was down 20. Um, I'm not worried about it though, because it was high. I like to do 130 grams of protein or more, and so if I exceed that, I definitely exceed expectations. Um, my carbs were about the same as they were last week, 26. Um, I like to keep them under 30. Under 20 is even better, but I just really need built Bars in my life, and that's just gonna add the extra carbs, and oh well. It's just what it is. And other people don't need to eat them. And I know I get a lot of criti criticism for eating them. Someone was just insulting me for eating them yet again this week. Shocker. I am like only been insulted about eating Bill Bars like so many times now. It literally makes me roll my eyes into the back of my skull. Cause like, oh my gosh, who freaking cares so much about Bill Bars? They're awesome. They keep me satisfied. They're super chocolatey. They're super yum. And I have a code. And right now my code is 15% off, not 10 so secret sale for you if you want to go buy some. Um, yes, I do make money off of whenever you buy Built Bars using my code and I need it and I'm grateful. So thank you. Um, to the person who decided to insult me for eating Built Bars, really smart eating these when you constantly complain about lymphedema. It, it's lymphedema and it's an E, not an O. When there is an ingredient in these that causes fluid retention worse than carbs, keep eating them and kid yourself some more. You see my eyes rolling? They're back my skull. I've literally been eating Bilt Bars for the entirety of my keto journey, except for the first eight months. And I never have had issues with them. Never. Ate them all this week. Did you see my weight going up? Am I swelling up? Nope. Not. So whatever magical ingredient is gonna make me swell up, that's in those, it doesn't do it to me. So, yet again, the uh, Built Bar Police. Built Bar Police. Um, I couldn't even remember her name and I just, I don't even know who this person is. Like, she has some weird thing anyway. Does she even make videos? Huh. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. Okay, moving on to the next thing. Sorry, I can be catty sometimes. That's my ADHD coming out. Sometimes I'll say things that I don't really mean, but this time I do mean it. So, and I've only said it like a thousand times to stop giving me a hard time about when I choose what I choose to eat because you know what? I need to eat things that satisfy me in order to keep myself from binge eating. It's more important for me to be satisfied with my food choices than it is to be perfectly clean keto because I have an eating disorder caused by ADHD and it is really, really hard to keep in check. And Bilt Bars do that for me. So stop. Okay, moving on. Really moving on this time. No, really moving on. What was I talking about before that? Oh, my carbs. Yeah, because they were high because I ate a Bilt Bar every day. Okay. I'm gonna keep doing that. So moving on, 65 average fat is my average fat. I am really sorry I'm so snarky today, you guys. I don't know what's happening to me. I got on TikTok and it's like, I, I don't know how I feel about TikTok yet. <laughs> so, so as far as measurements go, that will be the deciding factor of whether or not the built bars are making me swell up and retain water, right? Because then my measurements would be going up, especially around my scar. So let's, let's just read that because that'll, you know, put things to rest, so, so to speak. So here we go. Let's begin with the bust. Ah, the bust line. Ah, the story, sad story of weight loss and how it always affects the upper line. Not the bottom line, the upper line. It's always the upper line. I went down in my bust 1.5 inches in one week. And I am sad and sorry to announce that it came solely 
from my right breast. <laughs> I wish I was kidding. Yesterday morning, I woke up, I was getting ready for church. I put on my undies and I was like, what happened? And I like walk into the bedroom and I'm like, David, look at this. What is going on? And he's like, huh? And he's like, this one is like two sizes smaller than that one. And he just laughed and he was like, <laughs> oh, that's so cute. And I was like, it's not cute. I was like, what is happening? No. <laughs> anyway, I mean, any amount of body fat burned is good, but I definitely did not expect that and I have not had that experience. Now, the entirety of my left body is slightly bigger than the other, including my left breast. It has always been kind of that way, but never so dramatically as what just happened to me overnight yesterday. I don't even know how that happened, but I'm just like, come on, there's so many other places to burn fat from. It's just mean. So my left upper arm went down a quarter of an inch, so that was good. And my right upper arm went down a half an inch, which was a spectacular. Um, my under bust stayed the same at 32. My waist went down a half an inch to 33. My hips, which is basically right at the, my t top hip bone, because people were asking me like, where do I measure my hips? I'm measuring two places now on my hips because that place, the hips, is where my scar is and that's where I retain fluid. And so if I'm, my fluid's going up, I'm gonna know that that measurement is gonna, it's going to increase. So the hips measurement stayed the same at 38. Didn't go up, didn't go down. Now my booty, which is the biggest part around my hips, which was what normally people refer to as hips, but really once I actually could feel my hips, that's not my hips. In fact, sometimes in the morning, I will just like, grab hold of my hip bone and just like hold on to it and think, gosh, I like you. Gosh. Okay, that's TMI. <laughs> but it's true. I do it all the time. <laughs> I love my hip bones. I mean, I thought I was in love with my collarbones when they first popped out and I used to just, you know, my collarbones, but no, when my hip bones became visible, oh my heck. <laughs> So good. Anyway, I went down to 40 inches around my booty, one and a half inches down. So thankfully, it wouldn't all come from my poor my breast. Maybe a pound went off of my actual booty, which is good. Um, there was literally no change in my legs at all in any of the measurements in my legs, which I knew was probably a possibility. I kind of hoped I still had more body fat to lose in my legs, and maybe I do. Maybe that's just not where it, my body chose to release it from this week. Um, but it's obviously, it's releasing now. I'm now to the point where I'm seeing actual change in my actual body fat stores that's visible versus just that losing that, that lymphedema fluid that collects around my scars. So you saw in the 360, um, I'm looking pretty trim and slim. You can see my abs again. It's super nice. I'm happy about all of that. Um, every time I get up and I look at myself in the mirror, that is like a super motivator because when you're thinner, like you can really see the difference a lot more than when you're obese. When I first started this journey, like I swear I had to lose 80 pounds before me or anyone else knew that I had even lost any weight. And it's super nice that I can lose like, you know, three, four pounds and I see where it came from. That's awesome. Super awesome. So the other thing that I was gonna talk about was my, um, what Fitbit says. Now I know Fitbit isn't a good judge. And I do actually have this product coming. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it'll be at, coming up in other videos that's kind of similar maybe to this. I don't know, I'm just the precursor that I signed up for this company to try this new thing. We'll see what if, we'll see if it goes okay. But um, the hard part is, is that it gives me the average for like, Sunday to Saturday, which now I'm doing like Monday to Sunday. And so it's not exactly the same, but pretty much since I've been eating the exact same thing, it's close. And of course it, I didn't exercise yesterday anyways. So it's not like it makes that much difference. Um, so it says for last week, I had an average of 13, 16 calories in and an average of 2,093 calories out, which I think is like seven, oh man, oh, 777. So I have 777 calories a day 
average deficit times seven days, that's 5,439 calories in the week. And I divide that by um, three, five, zero, zero to get one and a half pounds. So really I should have only lost a hundred, a pound and a half this week of actual body fat according to science. So who knows, maybe it didn't take a whole entire pound from my right breast or my booty, but uh, it sure feels like it. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, like I'm still just like, what the heck just happened to my body? Anyway, I guess that's it for today. I don't have anything else I wanted to say. Um, if you're new here, welcome. I'm glad to have you on this ride. Um, don't forget to go check out all my older videos. You can see the weigh-ins. I have them like all in a playlist and you can see um, I have a few slideshows. I'm going to try and get together a smaller version of the slideshow soon so that you can kind of see it really quickly, like maybe in short form. We'll see. I don't know if it's possible because I got it's all pictures and I don't know how to do that right off, but I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to try to anyway. And if you're on TikTok, look me up over there. I need some frenzies. Nobody wants to talk to me over there. I feel left out. I don't know how to deal with it. It's extremely uncomfortable, actually. I kind of hate it over there so far. But maybe I'm just watching the wrong videos. Anyway, if you have good TikTokers to recommend to me that I could watch, that would be great. Um, I just want to keep talking, so I should probably stop. So I'll talk to you all again soon.